All right, this is summer vlog number 10. Nate jumped the gun a little bit, but here he comes down the Hood River. I think we did this last year. We've got a big day. It's warm, about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And the water here is about 59. It's very, very cold and refreshing. Oh, oh, Here's Nate catching the back eddy. Oh, it. He's got a Bundaberg, which I said wrong. Bundaberg. 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 And this is summer vlog number 10. Hey guys. What do we have for breakfast? Oh, we had eggs. And? And rice. And? And hot sauce. And? Uh, tortilla. So it was a... Egg, rice, and hot sauce tortilla. Burrito. Taco. Burrito, yeah. Okay. What workout we do this morning? We did, um, we did not do a workout this morning. Why? Because I got to fly the three meter. Yeah, we rented a three meter and go down to, went down to, uh, uh, event site. And Nate had his second lesson. Oops, that's in the way. And so, okay, that leads into number three. What was the most challenging moment of the day? Oh, hiding again. It's so much harder than it looks. That makes it look way too easy. Um, <clears throat> when you so when you pull up on the bar and you're, so the kite's like this, right? It's up in the air. This is 12 o'clock. This is what, like? Nine. That's nine. That's one. Three. Three. Jesus. Um, so when you go down to here and you pull up on the bar, if you pull too hard, it comes across the wind window and that's when it's the most powerful. So it would have drug us a while. So I had to eject twice to that. And then we had to redo the lines twice and relaunch twice. Yeah, so. It's really hard. Um, per perseverance will pay off eventually. What new science fact do we have today? Um, Bill taught you about apparent wind this morning. Do you remember that? Which is a sciencey thing. I don't really remember that. You don't remember that, okay. Well, okay. we'll talk about it more tonight because it's very important to kiteboarding to understand what apparent wind is. Because if it says 20 knots and you're doing special things, it's actually working as about 24 for you. And that's a lot of power. Yeah. All right, what do you know today that you didn't know yesterday? Um how to power um how to power what do you call it power stroke power stroke how to power stroke a kite so when you so when you first want to get up on a kite you have your feet in in the straps or on the board depending whether you're going strapped in or strapless twin tip or strapless um and then what you have to do because you have to power up the kite do a power stroke which is where you pull down the bar go down slowly back up fast and that gives you enough power to get up on the board and get going yeah it gives you um lift just like an airplane has lift yep. and a kite if you can see it in um in like one of those really cool videos it's actually doing the lift just like the wind above is lighter than the wind below the kite that's why it goes up yeah um okay I forget what else is on our list because we're wet we can't really carry paper down here um what do, what do we got on for tomorrow what do we got on for tomorrow tomorrow is Wednesday and on Friday we we're leaving for San Francisco so tomorrow and Thursday are our last two full days in Hood River Bill's here so I think we're going to either Mosier or Rufus to kite we've made a one wheel and uh tomorrow night we're going to dinner with Libby the Australian from Adelaide mm -hmm. he, get, he feels a bit homesick when she hears him talk yeah and then on Thursday what are we doing Thursday night? There was some plan. Yeah, we're going to Indian... No. No? Thursday night. Um, Thursday night's... Thursday night, no, that's the wing foil lessons for free out of the spit. Yeah. We might um, go do that. Nate will have a look at a different kind of wind sport because it could be that for now, kiting is out of the realm, but wind foiling um, won't be. It's a big woodpecker. <laughs> So, yeah. What, what do you got for your peeps? We're going to dinner right now at a friend's house. They're making pizzas for us. And they're like two minutes away. Pizza and, and way, salad. Pizza. Should we tell them what it means? Pizza is pizza. It's flat, doughy, 
No. Cheese. When when these people make pizza for oh, us. Oh yeah. <laughs> when they when these people make pizza for us, they get Papa Murphy's pizza, which is um, a store like Domino's, except you buy the pizza and it's frozen like a store pizza. No, it's pre-made. Pre pre-made. It's not frozen, and then you just bring it home and put it in the oven and cook it. And so last year we had the same date with Tom and Carol, who are lovely friends of ours. Um, and I was really excited because they were making pizza and Carol was a really good cook and I thought it was a Pullman pizza night and it was Papa Murphy's, which yeah. is pretty ordinary, but a good social event. Mm -hmm. And we get to hang out in the house with TV and air conditioning and cats and, and Wi-Fi. So, wi so we're actually, because now what's, what's the time like? 4... 4.50. 4.50 and we're leaving at 5.28. So because we're only like two minutes away, we're going to upload at their house.